the rigs faithful uh, really helped in that regard, gave us the energy that we needed to find the game at the end. But great teams do that, right? Great teams come back from being down, they're resilient and tough, and they find a way in the last 10 minutes of the game to win games. But what did you see out of Silla tonight, just his attack? I don't know, what did you see? <laughs> <laughs> Improvement. Uh, yeah. No, I, I felt for Silla all last year because he was hurting all year. And he didn't have, uh, and, and he, he, he felt, he played through the pain. But he's had a fantastic summer, he's healthy, and obviously he's electric. Coach, what was the, the motivation behind scheduling this game? It's, it's an unusual uh, early season game against a highly ranked team like Indiana. Is that just a challenge you guys? It was. We wanted to find out. We knew this was going to be a relatively new team, and we wanted to see where we were. Uh, and, and what better way to do that than an eight-time, nine-time national champ, right? And I, I mean, Todd and I have had a great relationship. His father is my, one of my mentors. Uh, we've had a wonderful relationship with Indiana for many, many years, and uh, I was happy they were able to come out. You lost some pieces last year. Obviously, Marks, uh, Mannion making, making his first start tonight, and obviously had the, the shaky start. I guess you attribute that to, to nerves a little bit, but. Um, he seemed to really settle in. No, I, I think uh, as big a story as Uzi is a goalkeeper. Yeah. Because, you know, a goalkeeper makes one mistake, right? You see what happens. He made one mistake tonight, right? Uzi made more mistakes than that, right? But he scored two goals. I mean, and Trevor did sensational. He pulled off some amazing saves. But the mental toughness to be able to deal with that in front of that big a crowd at home in your first real start, and everybody in the crowd was going, oh, where's George? Oh, where's George? Well, they found out who Trevor was tonight. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you, to, um, to kind of, what did you learn about your team tonight playing a, a tough-ranked opponent like this? Uh, I learned that they're tough, they're resilient, they're fearless, they can, uh, you know, they can play with anybody in the country. Um, you know, we're experienced, and... What, what made me really happy is that we went pretty deep into the bench with some young kids, and they're going to get experience. You know, obviously the, the seniors, the older guys, Hamidi, Mo, uh, Isaiah, Blues, they're ready. <laughs> they're ready. But our younger guys have got a ways to go, right? And tonight playing in this atmosphere, in this environment, was phenomenal for them. Great experience. Replacing guys like Agra and Pipe, how, how tough is that? Not too tough. We just beat Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> you know that. I mean, we've got great players. We've got a great program, and we're gonna we're gonna always try and you know every year we're focused on winning championships and winning trophies, and that didn't change whether we won the national championship or when we first got here in 2010. We're doing the same thing. We're, you know, we're gonna still stay consistent to our values. We're gonna stay consistent in the way we play, and I've got a really really good team this year. I've had a lot of fun this preseason. Coach, first game of the season, what points of emphasis or goals did you come out here with tonight? To have fun. That was what I told him. The first thing I told him, walked in the locker room. I said, fellas, you're going to enjoy this. You're gonna, win or lose, it's going to be a memory that will last a lifetime. Right? We're raising a banner. I don't want to see one person have bad body language tonight and not play with a smile on their face. And that's what I told him. That's, that's all I, I didn't need to give him any more. We were trained all week. We were ready. Right? I just told him I didn't want to see. And, and Trevor's a great example of it. Right? He makes a huge mistake. And continues to play with a smile on his face. Coach, tell us about Wallace, the grad transfer from, from your former school, Brown. Um, what have you seen from him so far, and, and how nice of an addition has he, he been? He, 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 he was terrific. I, I, you know, both ways, box to box, physically good. But he's a leader, right? He was the captain of the Brown team, and he's a leader. And this team needed, you know, we had a big void in our leadership with all those guys graduating, and so that's why we brought Trevor. And we haven't seen necessarily that in practice but tonight he stepped up he played a big big part tonight Mike uh, when you first came here you know we talked about you know wanting one day to raise your own banner here because you know what the tradition here at Clemson was when you saw that banner tonight I was watching you what were your feelings what was going through your mind I was worried about Indiana. <laughs> Seriously, I was thinking about the game. I mean, we, we've, we've been on a you know six-month victory tour, right? And very proud, proud for Clemson that we have another star on our chest. But uh, I'm concerned about Indiana and what's next and what's in front of us. I'm worried about my team, right? That's, 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 it'll be ancient history and it'll stay in history for, forever. But we will never forget that. And we're proud to be, you know, the coach and honored to be the coach of Clemson and national champions in 2021. But this is 2022. Coach, no overtime this season. Uh, what, what was behind that, and how do you feel about that change? This game was not made to be played two and three games in a week, right? And then you add overtime on top of it, right? It's, it's, 
it's not healthy for the players. So you know, yes, in, in, in playoff games, you, you need to get a, you need to get a decision, and it's very important. But we're going to play 16 games in two months, and then you're going to put overtime on top of it, right? And our teams, you know, to be honest with you, if you look over the years, our teams are tough, resilient teams. We do well in overtime, right? But I'm more concerned about the players than I am about you know maybe getting the result. Coach, you had a great offense a couple years ago with Robbie Robinson and those guys. Maybe the best defense in the country last year. It looks like pretty well balanced. From I mean, obviously small sample size, but you say you're a pretty balanced team right now. Yeah, we're a little inexperienced in the back, and that showed tonight. But uh, but the front six are pretty good, and you know we did well uh, getting Joey and Derek in as transfers, and, uh, and that's helped balance our team for sure. Thank you, Coach.